Hi everyone, Kitchen Tarantula here and welcome to another video. So, we have a new spider. It's an unsexed juvenile, the first unboxing of the year. So without further ado, they've flipped, flipped the camera around, set up its enclosure and take a look at what spider we have. So, it's a long enclosure. It's the standard flat um, exotero venariums which means it's a big spider so the compost i use i use westland houseplant potting mix it's um, enriched with cermis and perlite which absorbs and releases water for perfect growing conditions i use this on all my spider enclosures and the spider seem to like it and it holds a lot of moisture so highly recommend um, trying this um, Westland houseplant potting mix. There you go, a nice decent size layer for the spider. Next up is cork bark and my trusted leaves. So we have two different size bits of cork bark, one there and one there. Before I um, water dish, an old coffee dish. Before I do that, let's get our leaves in, which is um, they used for aquariums. I use them in my tarantula um, enclosures. I think for about four pound, I got a bag of two hundred of them. Uh, they're Indian almond leaves or catapa leaves you use for the aquarium, um, but they also make good leaves for tarantula enclosures so highly recommend having a look at some of these on amazon you get a big bag for well cheap money and like i said they're dry and you cut them up and stick them in tarantula enclosures obviously these um release basically what they do in the aquarium is they release tannins and make your water brown but um like i said they make great additions to your enclosure and there the catapa leaves all cut up with my trusted aquarium scissors that's what you do is cut them up and just throw them around the enclosure it looks pretty decent basic but decent as you can see so our usual one of our reputable spider Shops, creatures from the north. I've used these quite a lot over the last year. And um, for spider shop, didn't really have the stock I want. And we've got another freebie as well. Woo! We've got another freebie. So there's a spider in question. The And there's the freebie. So let's take the free tub out and see what it is. Another... Neophel Incy, so another free olive. Really? <laughs> so that's the third free olive I've got from Creatures from the North. Just checking to make sure there's no more in here before I throw it in the bin. Nope. So another free Neophel Incy that I've now got to rehouse in a bit. But the spider in question is a Formictopus aratus, the Red Island Bird Eater. So, without further ado, we're going to get her out and have a look at he or she unsexed. And there you have it, the Formictopus aratus, Red Island Bird Eater. But I might have to look for a different tub for that. I didn't realise how small it would be. I thought it would be a bit bigger. So I hope it does not escape. That's a tiny for Mictopus Aratus, as you can see. So I'm going to have to figure out how or what I'm going to put it in. Because it's so small, look, that it'll, it'll escape through them gaps. So I'm going to have to put a bit of dirt in the pot it's in and repot it in there for now and do some rehousing. Because obviously it's tiny. Its abdomen's tiny, and it'll easily 
get through these gaps. I didn't realise how, just how small it was. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to do some working out. Okay, I don't really want this escaping. Its legs are massive, but its bum's small. So, yes, I'm going to have to figure this one out. Is rather tiny. I didn't realise it was that small. I'm definitely gonna have to refigure it out. Otherwise, it's going to escape from this because of the holes. Look, uh, I've got to have to see what other tubs I can get hold of. See what other tubs I can get hold of and make some air holes in some other tubs and put it in there for now until it grows a bit. Otherwise, this will escape. But there you have it. The Mictopus erratus, Red Island Bird Eater. Not fully grown yet. I'm not showing its full adult colours. But nevertheless, a stunning spider. And obviously, as it molts, it'll look even more stunning. Let it go for a wonder. There it goes. Go for a wonder. <laughs> Quick as well. But there you have it. For Mictopus Aratus. Red Island Birdie at unboxing. So, as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe. Leave a like and leave a comment as it really does help the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon. Bye for now, everybody.